You know, Dave, they say good things happen to people that wait. That is true. I think something really good happened to you this month. It was a good month. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. <laughs> I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today, We're losing it over here. <laughs> and today... We haven't even really drank. No, we haven't. And today we are going to talk about our whiskey haul for the month. You know, some people have had a really good month around here. It's going to be Zach. He always has a good month. Are you kidding me right now? Mm -hmm. You literally have the best bottle on the table over on your side. I do, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm really happy for my boy. Dreams do come true. Listen, dreams do come true. Uh, before uh, we start, though, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notifications, and uh, let us know what you got this month. It, you know, it's we're in this weird time frame where, thank God, things are quote-unquote slowing down for some. Yeah. Um, but anyways... I'll go ahead and start, and I'm just going to put like a bundle of like whiskey out here, um, because I don't really like even know where to begin with all this. So true. I've been buying like a bunch of random whiskey uh, over the last couple months. Uh, some of it is from. This one's good. This one is good. This one's actually surprisingly good. I mean, yes. What about this one? I've not had that one yet. <laughs> I've just had both of these at a bar, so I know, like, I've, yeah. like, I've tried both of those. So, I, I've i been buying some random whiskey. We're going to at least do a review with these two. Yeah. I, they're both at rye, so I'm kind of wanting to add, like, a third rye to it. Mm -hmm. So, please put in the comments below if there's another rye that we haven't reviewed that you all would like us to review or a newer rye out there that you all would like us to, to review and look at. Um, but anyways, uh, so, I've, like I said, this is just kind of like some of the random whiskey I've been buying. Nothing super crazy. I'm gonna drop that if I try to. Yeah, please that. don't drop it. <clears throat> All right, uh, I'll, my first one is just a little 750 of Buffalo Trace. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, there anything else to say about it? It's just a Buffalo Trace. I want to know with people like, are we the only ones who are getting flooded with that? We stuff right are now? flooded. Mm -hmm. I, I had a, you know what's crazy? That and Henry McKenna. Yeah. The, the crazy thing is that I had a harder time finding a 750. Like they have, really? there are one liters out the wazoo <laughs> right now. Yeah. And <clears throat> truthfully, the one liter is the better deal because it's only like five yeah. five or six dollars more. Yeah. But I only needed a 750. So <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I was only getting a 750. Only so much space. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's strategically placed and things. So, um, this is always a good one to have on your bar. Yeah, for sure. All right, next one. And I think people are gonna be shocked knowing that I bought this. A Mid Winter Night's Dram. Now, we've done so many videos here recently about how like I was kind of out on it, right? Mm-hmm. I still technically kind of am. But we played this game at Breakfast Club. Yeah. Where instead of having to wait, you know, we get to randomly draw it. It's not all the time. It, it's every once in a while. Every once in a while. Yeah. There will be some boxes. You don't know what you're getting. And then boom, you take what you get, but whatever you get, you have to buy. Yeah. I got this. So <laughs> you don't, sometimes you don't have a choice to buy what you, you don't have a choice. So I just found it. I found it comical considering how we've been talking about how I'm just kind of out on them. Yeah. And then this is the bottle. I was like, that's about right. Yep. So true. That's the way. That's the way it happens. That's sometimes. the way it happens. Uh, all right. My next one is a Michter's Small Batch uh, award-winning. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, the 2023 Most Admired Whiskey in the World. Um, I don't. I think it's just the brand, not necessarily uh, the small batch. I mean, anyway. I uh, anyway, this was part of a package deal, so it is what it is. These are what you, you get. This or you get the American whiskey or mm -hmm. what. Whatever. Sometimes, if you do a rye, usually you get a rye. But um, I, I bought a package, and with that package, came the old small batch. Super solid drinker. Yes. All right, this is the time of the month where I talk about the newest exceptional series that I bought. Uh, this is from Reserve Bar, and it it was one of those online releases. It was actually one of them I kind of thought about getting or not, mm -hmm. and then I forgot about it. I had it in my cart, and then I went back to it. I was like, 
oh, it's still here. It's meant to be. Yeah. It's so, meant to be. It's meant to be. So I, I just had to, I had to get it. So, but this is, like I said, this is a reserve bar and this is a 12 year, nine months. I, I, 102 proof. I, I foresee an exceptional blind coming soon. Oh, is that what you want to do? Yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Yeah. I think it'd be awesome doing an exceptional blind. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So my next one is uh, the Elijah Craig small batch. This is the PGA Championship version. Uh, the cool thing is, like, it's got this, but I think the coolest thing on it is, boom, we got a little gold um, coin on the top and all that good stuff. And if you know anything, you know that uh, the PGA Championship is here in Louisville this year at mm -hmm. Valhalla uh, Country Club. And I'm excited. I'm going, like, three days. I'll probably go at maybe two. But... Uh, I like what Elijah Craig's been doing and, uh, well, Heaven Hill in general have been partnering with golf tournaments to kind of commemorate some of the some of the cooler ones. So super stoked about it. Super stoked I got this. I'm actually probably going to gift this to my dad because my dad likes memorabilia uh, and this has Valhalla on the top, all that good stuff. So I will probably just give it to him. I'm letting you all know right now we applied for media passes. If your boy gets on media passes... I, you're not even going to be ready for that. No. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's going to be wild. Yeah, we're not going to get it. We're, yeah. we're, we're not, not going to get it, but it'll not. be fun. But if, if we, we could, yeah. it would be glorious. All right. This is a stag. It is a 22B. Surprise. <laughs> I think I'm actually getting ready to trade this for uh, um, a 23C, though, which I like a lot. I think Dan and Sean did their blind thing and they didn't like it as much. Or maybe they did. I can't remember. Um, but I'm actually getting ready to make this trade. But my point is, is like, it is, we're in a weird phase right now, I think in our area, where just a bunch of different stag yeah. is hitting. Um, we've had some stag store pick shop. Mm -hmm. We have had the, like I said, this is a 22B, 23C dropped everywhere in this place. Yeah. So it's just like a weird time where just a lot of stacks dropping. It's not gonna it's not gonna last long, but it's just it's kind of a weird phase. Yeah, it never way. does, but it's always nice that when it when it is going. Um, all right, my next one is the partner to the small batch, which is the Michter's limited edition uh, barrel strength and uh, yeah, super excited I got that. I think these are really good. I think uh, the the fun thing with these uh, are they're Think they're still Kentucky only this year, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so just being able to know that it's here, and the only way you can really get it is if you're around here. Yeah, I mean, they're excellent. They're kind of a yeah. sleeper. They are proof. sleeper. Um, but no, they're they're just fantastic. So you know, I hate that they're in a bundle, but yeah, I mean, all always. bundles. Well, I mean, Mictors is one of my favorite distilleries, but also one that I hate just because. They yeah. bundle everything. We're gonna bundle everything. Uh, if if they have excess every once in a while, like I think one time we were there for an M10 uh, bundle, mm -hmm. and they had just some random M10 rise just sitting they there did. by themselves. You could buy them. Yeah, yeah, and you could just true. buy them by themselves. So I see your barrel strength, and I raise you a M10 bourbon. So they still have them down there at the distillery. They kind of went on a little bit of like a. Like a and I'm break. assuming this is a 2023 release. Oh, so. yeah. yeah, this is... Uh, Even though they put the email out for the new 2024 release. Yeah, and here's what was crazy. This uh, just got this one like a week ago, and it's 23A. So, because everybody's wanting that 23A, which I'm yeah. telling you guys right now, I have not seen that crazy of a difference. Nah, I just think people reviewed the 23As first, yeah. and that's why the hype of it is so much there. But regardless... I mean, you know, I mean, this is a good bottle. For it's sure. excellent. Yeah. I mean, it was our whiskey of the year, and it, you yeah, know, it was a lot Probably of people's so. favorite whiskey of the year. All right, uh, my next one oh. slash two is uh, the Old Forester uh, 117 series. This is the High Angel Share Batch Three. Uh, so this just came out beginning of this month. Mm -hmm. uh, I think right at the beginning of the month, yep. or maybe a. a a weekend or something like that. I think it, it was, I think it was either a Tuesday or it was a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I was sleeping. Yeah. I was on night shifts yeah. and I was sleeping during the day. 
that's dropped online and at the distillery. Yep. Still haven't gotten one. I'm going to be interested because uh, we haven't reviewed this yet. We, we are going to. Um, but I'm going to be interested to see where it stacks up with the other Angel shares. And I'm sure we'll probably do a blind of all three of them again. Just to kind of, for funsies. Like, you know, funsies is good. I think I've drank through has one and two. I don't know if I have any open. I mean, you can always open them. I guess I could. I guess can. I could. I'm going to open this one, so... There's a difference between open up a has three and a has one. Can't find those anymore. That's true. All right. That is true. My uh, my next one. Uh, and I'll just do this as a little stack here. So uh, got a E.H. Shaler Barrel Proof, batch 12, and an E.H. Shaler Small Batch. Uh, the Barrel Proof came from Liquor Barn Outer Loop, and the Small Batch came from Total Wine, St. Matthews. Um, again, we're just, I, I think we're kind of done with the Barrel Proofs now. But it just seems like we're going through that phase with EHX because there were single barrel picks that dropped here recently. Yeah. I didn't get any of those. Yeah. Um, but there, there's just a ton of EHX that's dropped in this area. Not that it will last. I don't know if they were holding them for a big period I don't of time know, or man. what. It, yeah. I don't know if it was because of like bottle and bond day yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it just seemed like we had a bunch drop in this area. Um, and I noticed a couple of cities over, like, you know, Cincinnati and, and Indianapolis, I saw people talking about it, getting some. So I just yeah. think a lot more of it's dropped, which is a great thing. Yeah, so. sure. Uh, all right, my next one is a Weller Antique 107 store pick. This is a Liquor Barn store pick. Uh, just randomly picked this up. Uh, super cool. Um, if you like antique, I think their store picks are even better than just their normal yeah. uh, antique. Tend to be. I, I've, I, honestly, almost all the Weller lineup, if you get a store pick of the ones that are offered in store picks, mm -hmm. um, generally those are always a step above just the regular one, even though the regular ones are decent. And uh, this one's actually good. I love Antique 107. Yeah. Um, but the store pick just adds a little something extra to it. I've not had this one yet. Obviously, it's not open. So um, I don't know if this one is a heater or not a heater. True. Uh, but I'm assuming it's a liquor barn pick and they do a good job. So chances are it's good. Mm -hmm. All right. My last one will be an Old Forester President's Choice. So whenever the whole thing about Old Forester put it out on an email that they were dropping PC. Uh, I assume just like a lot of you all, did you try that day? You did try. Yes. So it was that whole fiasco yeah. of whenever it was just, I mean, the website crashed. I don't know how many people were trying to get it, but it, it was just a hot mess. And I ended up scoring one. I ended up actually making a trade for this one that I have, which was, it, it, I traded it for one that I wanted because I know how much that I, I like 34. So I was like, I'm going to trade for a 34. Um, but anyways, and my friend wanted that number for a different reason. Yeah. So, but regardless, it was a complete and utter chaos. Yeah. And I have always done well getting one of those online. Like, and I don't do anything special. I do it with my phone. Like when everybody's like, you gotta be on a computer. I've always done it on my phone. I've always had success. But it yeah. was just a wild day. How long did that last? Like 30 minutes it, to an yeah, hour? It was, it was not, but it was just crazy. It was wild. Yeah. So, but, all, right. all right, my last one, and I, I don't even, I'm just going to bring it out. <laughs> all right, so my last one is a Heaven Hill 17. Mm -hmm. um, I know last month we did a video where we were talking about our unicorns and this being my unicorn of all unicorns. It is my unicorn of all unicorns at this point. Um, and had somebody reach out to the channel uh, who said they wanted to, if, if we could work out a trade, I would love to trade you. Uh, I'm assuming he has more than one of these. Yeah. Um, and he uh, he was, so we worked out a trade and um, I had some things that he wanted and can't get. And so um, just shout out to Darian. Uh, dude, you made my, this is, this is my bourbon dream right here. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm so, super stoked uh, to have it. Uh, I'm going to wait to open it till just the most appropriate time. To Tomorrow. Uh, this, no, I'm going to drink his today <laughs> and then <True. laughs> and then uh, do that. So, uh, just really excited uh, that my I mean, 
it's my dream. So I'm I'm, I'm really happy. Out of yeah. all seriousness, thank you, Darren, for making that trade happen with them. And and I'm very excited for my boy. Yeah. I could be happier. Yeah. Uh, this will go next to my Booker's 30th that I got last month. You've had it. You've had as a surprise. Long. As a surprise. <laughs> hey, uh, real quick, shout out to any of you all who uh, went to Liquor Barn and got in the lottery and got a bottle. I think that's super cool. Uh, I didn't get one. Um, so, neither one of us tried. <laughs> yeah. we Actually, neither. yeah, it is true. Neither one of us tried. Uh, I do know a couple people who got them. Uh, yeah. Uh, but most people that I know did not. Uh, but shout out to anybody who actually uh, made the trip to Louisville and uh, yep. or made the trip anywhere around Kentucky because Lexington had them. Everybody, you know, yep. all the liquor barns, not all the liquor barns in areas had them. So if you got one, let us know what you got. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see you. Uh, not, got. not a lot of places in our area do that kind of stuff anymore. So yep. it's cool that they did it. And it's so. like it's the truest of true lottery systems yeah. like which is the cool part about it is like you don't have to camp out you don't have to do any some people do camp out to get a yep the first bracelet i don't know i guess yeah uh, but it's still the luck of the draw of how you know when they stick their hand in there pull a pull a number out it is what it is mm -hmm. uh so it is you could have gotten there at two in the morning or eight forty four. And had the same opportunity to uh, get a bottle that Agreed. anybody else did. So, uh, shout out to any of y'all who did. Let us know what you got. And until the next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.